guys so for those of you who are new to my channel my name is Aya and I'm a bento mom I make fun and creative lunch boxes for my daughter Zion I'm also into gardening and homemaking so if these are the things that interest you please keep on watching happy Friday guys so finally some tulog na lang weekend na so kapit lang Right, so for this week's creation, we're still doing our Halloween theme na series, okay? Just because it's October, it's a spooky month or the Halloween month. So yesterday, just to recap, ang ginawa natin is the Vampire Minion na bento. So for today, just because it's Friday, I decided to do something quick and something easy na bento creation. So let's check and see what the ingredients are at kung anong gagawin natin today. Okay, so for today, guys, we're gonna be doing the Jack O Lantern Bento. Okay, and here are the ingredients. So we have here, of course, the white rice, and then I have here the orange food coloring. So I use this green leaves na orange food coloring. So I put about three drops of the food coloring and diluted it in about one tablespoon of water. For the ulam, we have here Yang Shanghai. For our fruit, we have diced pears. Our dessert, we have Oreos here. Then for the garnishing, I have your cheese slices. So I just slice it into thin strips like this. And then I have here yung ating nori for the Jack O' Lantern. So you just need to cut two triangles, right, na small. And then yung mouth niya. So I just decided to do a jagged na edge. Like zigzag, like that. And then I also have here yung candy eyes, a small, for our garnishing. And of course, our bento picks. Also have the silicone cups here, tweezers. And I also have lettuce for the garnishing. And our cling wrap, of course. And we're gonna be using our yum box na lotus pink for today, right? So let's start by coloring the rice. Okay, so for coloring the rice, you just need to pour your food coloring na diluted sa water. Okay, so this is about a cup of rice. So you just mix it. Make sure that while mixing it, imash na siya so that it gets fully incorporated yung kanyang color doon sa ating rice, right? Okay we'll go ahead and mold it. Okay, so to mold the rice, of course, we'll just cut the portion of our cling wrap here. What you want to do, of course, is just put the rice inside the cling wrap. Pull up yung edges. Pull up yung edges. We just want to press it against the kitchen counter. Again, para lang maging mas compact. Okay. So there, you can just do round shape or circle shape para simple. Para lang magmukha siyang yung sa squash. Medyo i-emboss ko lang yung kanyang gilid. Alright? Okay? So, we'll start putting together our bento. So, for the base, of course, we just need to put yung ating lettuce here. Yeah. And then, I'll just put yung ating minold na pumpkin. So, and again, please make sure to wash your hands when doing your kids bound. There you go. So again, you can do just a round shape or a circle shape for the pumpkin. But what I did is just put a little design. Medyo inangat ko lang yung gitna. So I just embossed it like um, prines ko lang na ganyan para tumaas siya. Para lang mag-corting pumpkin, yung korte ng, or shape ng squash. So, we're gonna put yung ating nori sheets na kinat over the pumpkin. So, it's very easy. Just put the eyes like that. Okay. And then, the mouth. So, that's just about it for our pumpkin. So I just wanted to put yung pick sa taas para lang looks like a leaf or something. Then, for our side, I'm using blue and yellow, a cup. So, I'll put the ulam here. 
yung ating Shanghai Rose or yung Lumpiang Shanghai. And then, I'll open our Oreo, of course, for our dessert. It's here. So, I will do, I'll open the Oreo like this. So, yung part na merong um, filling, so I just like to put candy ice there. Okay. And then, put ko lang yung strips ng cheese dun sa Oreo. Just to make it look like a mami na Oreo. And then, just put it on top, yung strips ng cheese, and then, kung merong sobra, just cut it. Okay? So, that's what I'm gonna do now. Trim ko lang yung edges. So, this is an easy snack that you can do for your kids for Halloween. Okay? So, there. I'm gonna be putting it here. So, I'm going to do two of these, okay? So, again, just put the candy eyes dun sa part na may filling. Like this. And then, you strip ng cheese. Just want to put it on top ng Oreo like this. Okay? There you go. Then, yung kanyang excess, you can just cut it. Right? So, this is how you do yung mommy. Na Oreo. Okay? There you go. Okay? There you go. And then, sa middle ng ating compartment, of course, yung fruits. So, we'll put our diced pears. Okay, and then we'll just put, for final touches, yung ating candy picks. Oh, sorry, our eye pick. <laughs> Not candy. And then, I have here two. Ghost picks. I don't really have much na Halloween picks, kaya I'm using basically the same ones that I'm using for my other creations. Kasi nga seasonal siya, so dito siya masyado magagamit. So, there you go. So, here's our finished product. I hope you enjoyed today's creation that wraps up our Halloween series for this month. So next week, I'm going to be doing random bento creations again of those old bento boxes that I've already posted in my Instagram account. So stay tuned, alright? So for all those creations na ginawa natin na Halloween related, I really hope that you can try them out, especially ngayong month. This is a good bonding activity, not only with your kids, but with your loved ones as well. So please like and share this video para mas marami pang mag-try, mag, mag wing. And also, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell para palagi kayong updated if I have a new video upload. Thank you for watching guys. See you on my next vlog. Bye!